Puerto Rico continues to struggle the strongest earthquake to hit the island in more than a century. Some areas are still without running water or electricity. And WJZ is live tonight. Rachel Menentoff reports a group of volunteers and religious leaders from Baltimore and beyond are now getting ready to travel to the island to help with rebuilding and recovery. Rachel. Rick and Vic, good evening. Members of a local Lutheran church have been traveling to Puerto Rico for years following two major hurricanes, and now they're heading back after disaster struck again. About a third of Puerto Rico's population remains in the dark, without power after a series of high-impact earthquakes. A major power plant that generates more than a quarter of the island's power was severely damaged by one of the strongest earthquakes since 1918. The 6.4 magnitude quake destroyed buildings and killed at least one person. The sense of despair and hopelessness that that brings uh, after having rebuilt uh, is is a familiar refrain from those friends. Members of Breath of God Lutheran Church in Highland Town have been traveling to the island for the last three summers, helping to rebuild after hurricanes Irma and Maria. Now, Pastor Mark Parker says in the aftermath of the earthquake, their work might be more extensive this time around, but the commitment is exactly the same. One of the tasks of rebuilding is actually to strengthen the community and the infrastructure to be able to withstand future natural disasters. The church is now recruiting close to 200 volunteers to join in its efforts this coming summer. Whether it be rebuilding some of the things that we had done and put into place there before or something completely different. A mission intended to help reestablish and strengthen homes, businesses, and places of worship. You see signs of that resilience that you've built into the physical infrastructure. For anyone who would like to donate to the relief efforts or participate in this summer's service trip, we've posted links on our website, WJZ.com, with more information. Reporting live, I'm Rachel Menatoff for WJZ.